Hi, peoples. My name is Joko, and I am an IELTS instructor, or I used to be anyway. Not that much anymore. I mean, I do other teaching, and I think about IELTS quite a bit, and follow what some of the experts have been writing lately, and um, of course, uh, giving feedback is the best way of learning is through teaching. So we've got, uh, I'm doing a task two tonight of uh, the title I've given it here, is it malignant or merely bad? Um, not that the essay is bad, I don't mean that. I mean the use of words. You'll see very much, pay attention to the introduction in this um, essay and you'll see a, an excellent example of someone overusing paraphrasing to the point where it's confusing, okay? Or I can just reach over here and click. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Mirror. And the first thing you want to do is analyze the question. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, you want to take the question and first determine what type of question that you're looking at. There's only like six or eight, depending on who you ask, types of questions. And um, if you've studied, you've learned that different types of essay or different types of questions require different approaches. It's not loading. Come on, slow. This parts of the slideshow didn't. What does that mean? It's never happened with Chrome before. You know why? Because I'm using this, these, these titles at the bottom. These are happening um, simultaneously, simultaneously, while I'm talking. It's instant uh, translation, which is pretty cool. One day, <sighs> in the not. In the not too distant future, maybe in my lifetime, hopefully not in my working lifetime, uh, they'll take that technology and put it into an earbud, and you know it will understand what someone is saying, and then tra this is not translation, I guess, but it'll understand what someone's saying, put it through another bit of microchips that'll turn it into spoken English or Tamil or Hindu or Norwegian, what have you. And same thing back and forth. That'll put all English teachers out of business. But until that time, we're still going here. Why is this a problem? Okay. So they should be censored. They have a negative effect on the society. Okay. So those are two ideas that we can grab onto. Others say that they are just harmless relaxation. You can't really hurt anyone with a gun, can you? Okay. Uh... Now, is this where we left off? I think so. Okay, analyzing the question. Um, so, who, where, all over the world, when, nowadays? Okay. And what are we talking about and what are the views? Well, the first view is that this twofold. First, these video games and movies are bad. And second, they should be banned or they should be, you should be forced to do something to have them cleaned up, like recycling. What else do we notice about this stuff? And we don't have big bags of... Right. So, um, where was I going with that? It's not a video game. You're not supposed to shoot down words and replace them with other words that you think might mean the same thing, or something similar to it, or you misremember it to make it seem like something that it isn't. It is undeniable that nowadays, films and graphic video games containing injuries and force our favorite among today's generation. That's a really long way of saying movies and computer games containing violence are popular. Because that's what it says. It says are popular. So Hmm. I'm still recording. Jesus Christ. All right. It is undeniable that nowadays films and graphic films are thinking about it. And um, don't use this word undeniable, okay? Because it is deniable. Well, anything can be denied, pretty much. Okay. And uh, nowadays, 
and today's generation don't belong in the same sentence. Well, some argue that they have contra contractionary impact. Contractionary impact is not a collocation that I have ever heard. Contractionary, I, I can figure out what it means. I know what contraction is. I've never seen the word used, and certainly not with impact. Contractionary impact on the community. And then no spaces between your commas. This counts as a punctuation error, and it's really annoying where you don't have the space between this and other, and then another space between the second comma and the next word. And when we, what happened to my? Okay, when I took your essay and put it into word counter, it came back with these numbers here. Um, and 267 words is fine, but it originally said that you only had seven sentences in the whole, sen in the whole thing. But no, if you put the, end of the word and then a period and then the beginning of the word the next sentence without any uh, spaces in between the computer if you're doing the computerized test will read that as not the end of the sentence it will it's not looking for that at the end of the sentence and you'll get really low numbers in terms of your readability um, of course it's not all based on computers but your average sentence was 23 words long which is fine but you do have a 39-word monster in there somewhere. Um, also, this site shows you your um, word frequency. Okay, we can see that you use the word games eight times in the, in the essay. Believe four, films four. So out of just those three words, you end up with 15 um, plus the next one, and you get to 10% of the, of the whole thing. All right, we'll come back to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, all right, other believe that they cannot cause any danger. Who are they? Okay. Others, others should be plural, plural. Others, however, believe that they. What is closest to they? Okay, and what is in the position of the subject? Um, others. So they believe that themselves cannot cause any danger. Others think that they can't cause danger. Sounds a lot like that the others think that about themselves. Yes, there's more pizza at the end, but that doesn't help you when you're watching it. In this essay, I will discuss both sides. Ooh, they're not sides. That's very important. They're views. And that means that they don't necessarily contradict one another. And you don't have to go to one hill or the other and stand on there and say, this is my side. You can go over that way if you want to. You, um, as long as it makes sense, you don't have to pick one of the views, not sides. You don't need to tell us what you're going to do. Just do it. Okay, where's the things down here? No, I just I click over here. So the introduction um, is really long for what it's supposed to be. And body paragraph one is even longer. Let's come back to it, although you're fine for word count altogether. To be more specific, people are watching those films or playing those games on their TV screens or computers without causing any damage to the real world. Well, I don't see how that's m more specific for instance, the guns from the video games are appearing only on the player's screen. They're not real guns, which are leaving no space for danger. How boring. Uh, for those reasons, should be reasons, it's plural, it is suggested that those types of streams, well, I, I get, no, we did, we does not mention streams anywhere in the essay. Hmm. So they're harmless, is what you're trying to say. All right, that I can buy. What about the other side? I like paragraph two. However, lots of however. Others, others, plural, suggest, that's right, that those categories of movies and games should or could lead to potential violence in real-life situations. Build up on their character 
and could be potentially used in a certain circumstance. Now that's actually a good thing, isn't it? Used. You you know I've I've been working on this thing. I'm not quite done with it. Oh well, when you when you use it, you'll feel good. Use strange. Um, for instance, I know he's talking talk about. For instance, the nature and the style of today's crimes are extremely similar to the ones used in the video games and represented on the big screen. Okay, you're trying to use an example that um, you really need to support the example. Okay, so then you tell us, is this, is this a topic sentence? However, I'll just suggest that there can no All right, and that's not the only thing that they suggest. In fact, if you look at the question, it says quite clearly that it has a negative effect on the society. It doesn't say what you should do about it, but it does say quite clearly uh, negative effect on, um, however, others, BP2, BP1. In conclusion, there has been a debate, really. Now, this is a key word, whether. Okay? It means the same as if. Whether, and the answer must be a yes-no question, whether the violent content in movies and games has had or has, actually you had the opportunity to use the present perfect, but has, uh, has had, has, no, I can't say ha has, has to be had, um, had negative or positive impact. Is that what this essay is about? You know what you're doing here? You're changing the essay into a into a um, advantages and disadvantages format. You're trying to frame the questions as um, advantages and disadvantages, and you haven't supported any of them. So why would you do that? Maybe something will click. But um, that was our first exposure to that type of offense. Okay, in this essay, don't go back to that. I discussed the both views. The both views? Just both views. And explained why I strongly believe the negative aspect outweigh the positive. I strongly believe that the negatives, the negative aspects of, and you're, you're turning it into something that it isn't. And you asked for a band score, and I haven't been doing this for some time, my mind's not really sharp, but I can tell you what I see. Okay, so these are the band descriptors for task two. Do not adjust your screen. Okay, so task response. What are the parts of the task in this question? What are, how many parts are there? How many things do you need to talk about? Well, let's go back real quick to the question. Did I? Oh, no, I turned it off. That means it's never going to come back. And they do mention quite strongly that um, you need to talk about, you said, the question says that these should be censored, that something should be done to the movies. You never supported, you never talked about what should be done, like censorship, maybe because you didn't know what the word meant. In that case, you have to look it up. We won't do it now, but you'll do it five years from now, I'm sure. Okay, next. We have... The zero. So, so I would say that for task response, you're about a five. Because you're not on topic. Okay, um, coherence and cohesion. That was the most common mistake you were making, just all throughout. And so I would put you in a six there. Yeah, okay. And then um, here in uh, grammar response and uh, grammar range and accuracy, majority of your sentences must be error free with complex uh, sentences with connectors used appropriately. Is that it? Page two of two. Yeah. That's it. Oh, wait. Go over this side. Mm -hmm. Gram um, language. <laughs> Lexical resource. Vocabulary. Oh, boy. What were you carrying? And lastly, the, um, the grammar. Good. So I'd go five, six, six, seven, get a, give you a solid six. Could be lower though, could be higher.
That's why I don't do this. 